Yo, yo, this is Happy 7 and today I'm going to keep playing the Magic Circle. Um, I apologize about the first half of last episode. My voice was kind of quiet, and I don't really know why, but it seems to fix itself like halfway through. Ooh, hello. I'll take that. Okay, cool. Um, the last time we edited this thing. So, is this something I can edit? Oh. Doesn't look like it. Oh yes, right, we have to trap it to be able to edit it. Mushroom, nothing, 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 nothing. My allies are wizards. Huh. Haha, <laughs> that's cool. It is kinda creepy though. Get stuck or in a hurry, just fast travel on the map. Rock. Uh, ooh, my special abilities are fireproof. Well then, is that all that was in here? Oh, excellent. Although I have to say, since this game, like the story is that this game that you're playing right now is in development already, I suppose they could just chop that up to, uh, you know, oh, well, it's in development, so, you know, glitches like that, or not glitches, but, you know, just bad level design like that is, um, not bad level design, what the... See, I watch the gods. I collect their voices as evidence, but they ain't free, so I have to spread them out, hidden in random objects like this. Sorry about that. I'm still confused on who that guy is, or what he is. But yeah, if there is any glitches in this game... Well, but see, that's the, that's the problem with me here. A game that breaks the fourth wall is that if there are glitches it can really really hurt the game like a lot more than it it would because I have played games that break the fourth wall and then there's a glitch and I think that it's part of the game because of the fourth wall breaking uh, how do I yeah, there we go right now you got outside eyes Nothing here seems real. That's good. See, the gods of this place mean to kill that disbelief. I aim to keep it alive. Mouth to filthy mouth. Um, well, all right then. Okay, wait, what? There's still some things over here. So, yeah, so this, this, this dude seems... Uh, ladies, this is not the demo area. The intern is, uh, uh, practicing. I was reminding her that any color scheme must be approved by you. Coda can use any color she wants. In fact, Coda, come with me. Bring your opinions. I'm honored, my lord. <laughs> okay, I like that, but maybe don't ever do it. <laughs> now... You might wonder why you're doing all the dirty jobs. Part of the reason is I'm in a jail of sorts and had to learn to work this world in less direct ways. But mainly it's cause I'm lazy. <laughs> Feels good, you know, Feels. admitting it. Uh, so I wonder if he's like a hacker or something, like a playtester that um, somehow is able to get into the game like this. That would be interesting. I guess you were supposed to live out a fairy tale, born to end some war when your sword got big enough. But the gods would have had to agree on all your powers, so you get none. But look around. Every creature here was abandoned by the gods. Let them be your fists, your fangs. 
so I'm confused. So I, okay, so I've heard of a, like a, a hypothetical game development system like what I think this might be before, where the game is being edited as it's being playtested, and so the playtesters have a direct effect on the game. But this seems like a very uncontrolled way of doing it because if the playtester, like this dude, uh, gets to, you know, figures out how to get into the actual files of the game, they can completely destroy it. So I'm assuming that's kind of what's happening here. Oh, whoa, whoa, what the hell? I thought that they were... I told them to... Oh. Yeah. Pulling off his legs will work as long as you don't go near him. So I have to edit every individual one. I thought that that... Whoa. Oh, and I see in that... Life is my life, I guess that makes sense now that I say it out loud. Um, okay, how the hell do I get in here? Oh, hey. Well, I guess I'll just keep going this way because there was a back, uh, back way around. Maybe over this? Oh, yeah. There it is. Feel, feel like gonna... That's what you look like, boss. The gods' plan was there'd be more than one of you heroes. But they canned that idea again. So now this thing is kind of stillborn. Maybe crack it open? See what happens? Max life in Crusade. Oh, very nice, very nice. Okay, um... <clears throat> oh, jeez. Massive frame rate drop there. Oh. Well, can I... Oh, nope. Well, to be quite honest, I kind of feel like that they're edging, you know, trying to get you to break the game. <laughs> and it kind of seems like that's... Yanking out his teeth, huh? That'd be characteristic. Well, congrats. Now you're equally impotent. Well, I can move. Why, do, why are they referring to me as boss? I don't... I'm really hoping that doesn't drop. Uh, okay. Yeah, that stupid cinematic is glitched again. You're stuck behind widescreen bars until you hard quit. Tell you what, though. Grand. As a gesture of good faith, I'll just break you out of story jail. There. Now imagine being stuck in that cutscene for ten actual years. That's my life here. When my game plays too rough for his story bible, Ish tears the controls right out of my hands. But I think you can help me get fired. I'm guessing you hacked in. Why don't you just quit? Good. This game is broken, right? So exploit it. Abuse it. Make it chase you on a leash. I'll be watching. So then I'm assuming that... Oh, what the fuck? Okay, I've got more information and more theories now. So I think what the... I think what the, the, the whole, I guess the situation here is, I mean, I, I, I'm going with that live playtesting thing, but it's just like, this the, the community for this game is dead, because it's been in development for such an incredibly long time, and so now people are just coming in to fuck it up, and the creator of it, like the main guy, Ish, who's just obsessed with it coming to completion, is kind of being like 
he's got kind of an abusive workplace, it seems. I mean, he's kind of an asshole. So, um, his, his whole, well, his staff, like that one woman uh, whose name I can't remember. Yes, that's right. All right, cool. Oh, hello. <laughs> Summon all edited allies by holding down left mouse and R mouse. All right. Well, this is cool. Looks like we're yeah, we interrupt this episode of the Magic Circle to bring you System Shock 3. This actually looks more like Ultra This Kill, is my it? world. Told you I was old. Well, I mean... It doesn't actually look that old, to be quite honest, because it's very obviously uh, post-processing that adds all this. In my day, the gods were cocky. Figured they could handle more than one hero. See that elevator door? Yeah. It won't open for just you. <laughs> I can help you trick it, though, maybe. Find me in hibernetics. I can't crouch. Whoa, hello. Yeah, this looks super similar to System Shock. Uh, right. I bet that it'll open for this dude. This is an employee, right? No. All right. Never mind then. Oh, I see. I have to have people on the sides. Um. Oh, all right. Surely we can do this. Uh, it doesn't really slide, so maybe not. All right. Well, I might as well put it on the other one then. Has any behaviors come to think of it, so never mind. Hmm. Well, that is an impressive amount of detail. Although it's probably just a picture that's been downscaled in post processing. <sighs> oh, hi. Absolutely useless. You know, something that I have to say about old, you know, like retro style games like this, games that aren't actually retro, um, is that most of the time it's pretty easy to see if something is actually a retro style or not. Like, say, look at this. This is moving at 60 frames a second. That's not going to move at 60 frames a second way back when. That's going to be capped at like 28 or something. Also, I'm still running this at 1080p. I mean, if they want to make an actual retro looking game, then you would downscale it to like 640 by 480 or if something. If the gods ever finished my story, I was supposed to wake up here, but the hibernation pod is sealed. I can't open it from inside. Think you can spring me? So then the magic circle has been in development, well, obviously 20 years, like it said, but still to the point that it is 
it's gone through a phase like this all the way up to the one that it was at that it's been evolving with the times so this isn't so much set in the future but set in a totally different world but what I still don't understand is why this guy is even aware of his own existence. Video game... Yeah, I thought that guy was gonna come at me or something. Because, um, I mean, video game char characters aren't aware of their own existence unless they're made to be. Well, I don't know. Maybe he was made to be. Maybe that was the, the point of the magic circle. Going on 20 years I've been stuck in here waiting for the gods. When I got bored... I reached out into the system to learn the ropes and to look for someone like you. This arm implant was meant for my world, but it should help you boss your pets around. Find a way to take my arms with you. <laughs> I'll come along for the ride. Oh, nice. Now they're all low poly pixelated. Waypoint tool. Allies will attack any hostile creatures they find in the circular area surrounding your waypoints. Hold left mouse to position a waypoint for your allies. Hey! Now I can talk your ear off from inside your head. Plus, your new set of arms should help you con that scanner at the elevator. It wants a second hero, but my guess is anyone will do. Can I still pick him up? Oh, I can. Oh, he's fine. He's fine. It's fine. Oh, I see. I have two different ones now. Oh, very cool, very cool. Um, so I wonder if I can get this guy under since he's a lot smaller. Oh, I see. No. No, that's not gonna happen. Um... Tab switch to trap. Oh, I see. I'm still confused on what he wants me to do. No allies within range of this wave. Oh, I think I get it now. Um, whoops. So I could put that there. And then we can go back here. Gosh, I really wish there was a sprint key. are the hero. Oops, I also have to make him able to be picked up. There we go. Okay, cool. So now, if I bring him over and put him in that little, little circle area, then it should activate that area, right? What? of the hero and who could be picked up. Okay. He is with the circle. Allies. Corpse. Allies of the heroes. No allies within range of the waypoint. Well, there's an ally in the range of that waypoint. No, it says no allies within the range of the waypoint, and yet there's this dude where it says allies, the hero. Was I supposed to use that rat? Is that, I don't know. I'm confused.
interesting. Yep, I'm... I'm... I'm pretty confused. Oops, no. I should save. So we've got one there. I, I really have no fucking clue what the hell the problem is here. I can't even pick this guy up anymore. Oh, there's a hole here in the window. And I, uh... Nope, that's not gonna work either. I, I, I have to say, I really, I, I do not know what's, what, what to do. that scanner looked for something specific. Okay. Oops. I like that. Okay, well, gosh. I'm sorry that that took so long. Okay. I had this world near to fixed, despite the gods. Then they scrap the whole damn thing and start over with the magic frickin' kingdom up there. Now I know. They ain't never gonna finish. It's a big loop. And you and me? We were born to break it. Don't worry about losing your pets, he'll find you. Oh! You mean they'll spawn right next to me when it's most convenient? Okay, well, we got some new information this time. I don't know what that is. Anyways, um, and I'm getting more into it, but there still hasn't been much of a hook, I have to say. Not much of a reason to keep going, but, um, I've played a few games like that where it starts off... Whoa. Where it starts off kind of mediocre and then gets better, and this game has, it's pretty highly rated, so I'm, um, yeah, I mean, so I, I assume that it'll get better, and, uh, we'll see. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it, but, um, I guess that'll do it for this episode. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then please leave a like and subscribe to join the Chorus Rebellion. If you have any suggestions for games for me to play or ways to make my commentating more enjoyable, don't hesitate to leave a comment. That's about it. See ya.